I would love to tell you that on the road to success, everything is going to work out. It's not. It's going to be a dog fight. On the road to success, I lost five aunts to cancer. It's a dog fight. In the midst of my business, I lost aunts. I had to go to funerals. We had to get on a plane. We had to drive. We had aunts that are close to my age who died, who didn't have insurance. We had to raise money, a dog fight. I had cousins shot in stores, execution style, shot back of the, back of the head twice. It's a dog fight. Like you don't see that on YouTube. You don't see that on my TGI. It's a dog fight. My wife, three years ago, seven legions following her brain. It's a dog fight. It hadn't been easy. It's a dog fight. It hadn't been, the road hadn't been success. Like it's just a paved road and like each he go this way. It's been rough. It's been crooked. It's been hard. But I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. And so if you're ready to quit, then don't get started. If you're ready to quit, don't get started. If you're looking for this easy path, don't get started. If you think they're not going to close the door on you and say no a million times, don't get started. But every time they close the door, I just get excited. Why? Because I am not a no. I'm one yes away. I'm young, I'm one yes away. You can't keep telling me no forever. You can't keep denying me forever. This type of energy, this type of passion. You can't stop it. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop. This is life. And you can't defeat me. There, there is not, you don't have enough power. You don't have enough energy. You don't have enough strength to stop this. Contain it for a year, you might. Two years, you might. You do not have hate, does not have enough energy to destroy love. You cannot destroy this. It did happen to me at 19. It did happen to me at 20. It did happen to me at 30. It happened to me at 40. After I had been through all the, all the pressure I thought I could go through. Life said, you finished with all the pressure. I said, yeah. They said, let me bring on the heat. And then when I went through the pressure and the heat, y'all, I thought it was over. The creator said, now you ready to get cut? You said you wanted to be great, son. You said you wanted to travel the world. You said you wanted to help people, inspire people. And you gotta be a diamond. In our armed forces, let's just pick one, the Navy for instance. The first thing they teach you, somebody, somebody over here, help me out. You are in the Navy. Right, you're going, they're teaching you war, right? What's the first thing they teach you? The first thing they teach you, the very first thing they teach you is how to respond when you have a jam gun. And number two, how to carry a dead body. That's the first thing they teach you. They don't teach you how to defend yourself. They don't teach you how to swim. The first thing they teach you is when your gun is jammed. The first thing they teach you is a uh, dead body, how to carry a dead body. And somebody tell me, why would they start you there? That's the worst case scenario. That's what you're not prepared for. That's what you're not thinking. You're not thinking when you go out there to defend yourself that your gun is gonna jam. You're not, you're not thinking when you go out there that your boy gonna get killed and you gotta drag. You're not thinking that. So listen, Julie, it's not, it's not hardships that hurt us. It's not my cousin getting shot twice. It's not my cousin spending 50 years in jail. It's not my aunt dying of cancer. It's not my wife being diagnosed with seven legions on her brain that will break you. What will break most people is you didn't prepare for that. So when you put all your little goals and all your little dreams together, it's not the thing that broke you that broke you. It was you never even thought about the fact that you could be broken. You say it's gonna be a dog fight. And if you solved, this ain't that you want to get out now. 
This is where you like, I quit. But if you're willing to say, I'm not going to quit, I guarantee you whatever success you want to have, you're going to have it. You will not outgrind me. You won't outgrind me. You can be smarter than me, you won't outgrind me. I'll get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and do videos. I'll do a video at 3 o'clock. I'll do a video at 2 o'clock. I'll do, I'm putting out so much doggone content, they can't keep up. They smarter than me. They better than me. I, I admit, I got a GED. I ain't the smartest person in the world. But I get up and do this for Didi. I do this every day for Didi because of what Didi did for me. I do this for my kid. My daddy wasn't there. I do this for my family. You can't stop me. The reason why some of you could be stopped is you're doing it for yourself. Of all the stuff I've gone through in my life, eating out of trash cans, sleeping in abandoned buildings. The worst thing that ever happened is when I went to the hospital and they told me my wife had a chronic illness and she might not be able to walk one day. People say E.T. Ask C.J. It never broke me. Why? Because I've been broken so much. Defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life. But I know what it feels like. And I can handle it.